But we begin tonight with an aging water system in Bloomfield Township reaching a critical point for water safety. Thank you so much for joining us with 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford and I'm Mike Duffy. Now routine testing showed that water for people near East Square Lake Road and I-75 is reaching dangerous levels of arsenic and lead and the cost to replace the wells will set homeowners back thousands. 7 News Detroit reporter Whitney Bernie is speaking to a homeowner and a township leader ahead of an informational meeting tonight about the next steps. The aging wells in question were installed back in the 60s, but they've been giving this community problems for the last several years. If things are not sorted out soon, the state may have to step in and shut off the water source completely. Well, you buy a home, you expect water. Neighbors living on Marlboro, just off of Square Lake Road in 75 in Bloomfield Township, say they never imagined they'd be dealing with this. I'm concerned. I mean, I don't even drink the water out of the tap anymore. I'm, and I'm concerned about some of, the, some of these other neighbors that, that have, have kids. A little more than 200 homes in the area have been a part of a community maintained well water system since the 60s, a system now in desperate need of replacement after the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy found progressively concerning levels of arsenic and lead in water through routine testing. The two aging wells at the root of the issue also impacting water pressure in neighborhood fire hydrants. It's a big deal yeah. and clean drinking water. We've seen what happens. After learning paying for the replacement privately would be too costly, yeah, yeah. neighbors went through a few rounds of petitions to get the township to step in. The plan now in place is set to cost each homeowner in the impacted neighborhood $24,000 over the course of 20 years. Well, the concern is you have a $24,000 assessment on your property, and that's not interest. That's the, you don't know what the interest is going to be until they sell the bonds. We're not wealthy as the rest of the township. While neighbors, many of whom are on fixed incomes, are concerned about tackling that bill, township leaders say there's no local, state, or federal dollars to help fund it. So township taxes that we pay, we pay 10 mills, and that goes to services. It doesn't go to utilities. Water and sewer is a utility. So for example, I have a well at my house. I don't pay into the water system because I don't use the water system. So there's no funding mechanism to save money to build out. The township board is expected to take a vote on next steps next Monday. An informational meeting will be held tonight at 7 p.m. at St. Paul United Methodist Church. We'll have that information inside this article at WXYZ.com. Reporting in Bloomfield Township, Whitney Burney, 7 News Detroit. All right, thank you so much, Whitney.